to the view. Here we go. <laughs> Democratic voters are dealing with a major case of electile dysfunction right now. <laughs> That's a joke, okay? <laughs> Eh, eh. Sanders, I Biden, we don't know. Electra. Oh, okay. Because a new poll found that they feel Joe Biden is far and away the most electable candidate who is most likely to win. That's what they're saying. But if you take the idea of electability off the table and just deal with the issues, voters align with, wait for it, Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. So, they like her, they want her to be president, but they think Joe Biden will win. Don't you think people should vote for the person they like in this country? <laughs> because then that person would win. That person would then win, but yeah. they have to talk to each other to get this together, and that's not going to happen. Look, I'm a registered Republican. I'm not voting in the Democratic primaries. I am just begging, begging all of you, work it out amongst yourselves and give me someone that can beat Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody was clapping there. You know, we have Trump voters here. What do you say to them? Yeah. You're going to screw up again? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, is it because she's a woman? Is that the issue here? What's the problem? Well, what's interesting about the poll is that 39% believe a woman would have a harder time against Trump. And in terms of the poll, women believe that notion more. But remember, uh, uh, I don't three million that. more people voted for Hillary Clinton than Donald Trump. You know that, right? That's, yes. yeah, that was the popular true. vote. It was just the Electoral well, College that got in the way. So yeah. she came on the show, and we were all impressed. Oh, Elizabeth? Elizabeth Warren, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, Elizabeth Warren came on the show, and we were all impressed that she had all of her um, supporters from New York City and people that were, like, doing grassroots organization were in the audience for mm -hmm. her. And I said, like, where are you from? And they were like, we're at her New York headquarters, whatever. And it was the first candidate that we had on that their people in New York came out. So it changed my feeling on my on her momentum. That being said, she, after she went on our show, she went on The Breakfast Club, which is an extremely popular radio show. And mm -hmm. Charlemagne asked her a question about Pocahontas. And um, he went on to another interview, and he said, um, I like the fact that she has all these policies policies. But when you ask her something as simple as, so why did you do that with the Native American thing? She's like, I don't know. And that's my take on Elizabeth Warren is she has very great policy answers, simple things. She she tends to flame out a little bit. Uh -huh. And I think that it, as much as people may may like her, you need a really seasoned candidate because the Pocahontas thing is going to be played over and over and over again at every oh, single Trump rally. But they're going to play over and over again all the stuff against Biden, too. We but, talked yeah. about this yesterday, about the segregation uh, guy. So but I do think he's better with the, the simple answers. And in a way, like, she's still still atoning for it. Look, I, she's, I, one, the, one of her problems right now is Bernie Sanders. Bernie yeah. Sanders and Elizabeth Warren are splitting the progressive vote. But for Bernie Sanders, right now, Elizabeth Warren would be giving Joe Biden a run for his money, would be toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, mm -hmm. maybe even beating him. Isn't she considered it's a progressive she, also? She That's is. my point. But it just Bernie seems, and her, and you know, I say, ask like, Hillary Clinton, yeah. Bernie Sanders ain't quitting. But it, just, it seems know. to me that Bernie Sanders, his ideas then were very innovative. They were right. very different. He has the same ideas now, and everyone else has sort of picked up on them. So they aren't different anymore. Elizabeth Warren really has energized, I think, so many people. Yeah. She has a plan for everything, yeah. even for people's love That's lives. That's slogan. I have a plan for I have for a that. plan for it. She's yeah. got a plan for uh, forgiving student debt, providing universal child care, the ultra-millionaire mi tax, protecting public lands, breaking up big tech, you know something? opioid crisis. We've had a lot of... Everything. Yes. We want a, a person that can not, energize um, We've had a voters. lot of candidates on this show who do not have a plan. How do you yes, feel about it? Of you, were, yeah. you were a Bernie person last night. I time. was. How do you feel well, about Bernie it? Bernie was always somebody who spoke a truth to power in a very original way, and... Uh, and I liked what he said. But I, I, I'm a pragmatist. You know, once Hillary pulled ahead of him, then I said, okay, he's got to get out, you'll of, the, vote for out of the race. for anyone that can beat Trump. Vote blue no matter who. We'll be right back <laughs> with more hot topics.